Right now, good Orlando federal health officials agree that we have entered the endemic stage of COVID, and that is prompting a big change in strategy as these case numbers drop dramatically. And joining us right now to talk more about it is our good friend, Dr. Todd Husty, medical director of Maitland Fire. Great to see you again. How are you? Oh, I'm doing great, Amy. Thanks for having me on again. And um, might not happen very much anymore. <laughs> I know. Well, that makes me sad. We'll find other reasons to talk to you, I promise. But, but listen, this is something that we have been waiting for for over two years. And I, I think a lot of us got to the point that we weren't sure we were ever going to get to say that we're moving into the endemic phase. What does this mean? Well, and maybe we should define pandemic phase. That's when you have exponential growth. That means it's growing, doubling, and then redoubling, and then redoubling. And we all saw that. I mean, that's what happens when the entire world does not have any immunity to a brand new virus, respiratory virus especially. So it's just going to grow like crazy. But then after people get immunity. Now, whether that's through having the disease or whether you get the vaccine, of course, um, which is the fast way, then there is, it starts slowing down. And that is what we finally see. You know, are we at herd immunity? That's the big question. We may be. I know you don't have a crystal ball and I always like to ask you crystal ball questions, <laughs> but what do you see in the future? What are your expectations for summer and then the fall? Because I think, you know, a lot of people thought last year we were over and done with this and obviously we were not. Well, it, if you look back at the flu of 1918, another respiratory virus that took two years to go away, and then it went away altogether. Then you look at other flus. Actually, it sort of came back as H1N1 is um, in, in in the early 2000s, but it, it it's pretty much was gone. But you look at other flus and they come back every year. It's going to be somewhere in between those, somewhere in between totally gone. And yes, it's going to keep coming back, bouncing back, but in little isolated pockets. Will we need to keep getting immunizations? And I don't know, we do with the flu. We might have to with with COVID also. Uh, let's talk about the masks because some people are still wearing them. A lot of people have let them go. We've seen the restrictions come down in, in what some people would call to be very liberal cities like Los Angeles and Washington, D.C. What do you anticipate with masks? So really, it, for about the last two months, I've been a proponent of the fact that if you're fully vaccinated and boosted uh, or you've had the disease recently, you know, how much do you really need to wear a mask for yourself? Now, if you take care of somebody who is elderly and and may not or might have a Im decreased immune system, yeah, it, it's very individualized. So if you see people wearing a mask, maybe they have a good reason. Don't look funny at them. I mean, they might have a very good reason to be wearing a mask. Personally, although I'm older and I'm older over uh, 65, I don't have a lot of risk factors and I'm I'm boosted. So I'm not going to wear a mask anymore, but that's my own personal decision. Think about it. Doc, what do you think about, you know, mass transportation, airplanes? I've heard a lot of people say, look, I probably will wear a mask on an airplane the rest of my life. I mean, helpful, not helpful. What do you think? Well, I think it is helpful. It does decrease the the risk of getting and transmitting respiratory viruses. Do we need to worry about that right now? Again, the people that are not vaccinated and boosted or that have decreased immune systems certainly should be wearing an N95 on transportation. But the rest of us, I think it's about time to drop it. Um, I'm in Colorado right now. I'm going to be getting on an airplane. And if I have to, I'll wear my mask if they say so. But I'm not sure that it's necessary anymore. All right. It's great. Uh, great interview. Great advice. Thanks for joining us from Colorado, Doc. We hope you have it's a safe beautiful. trip home. Did you get to ski? Did it's, you do anything fun while you were there? Oh, oh, yeah. I ski all the time. And it's it's zero degrees. I watched the weather report about how hot it was going to be. It's zero <laughs> here right now. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Well, we will heat you up quickly once you get back to Florida. Great to see you, Dr. Husty. Thanks so much. Thanks a lot.